crossing the Sahara in search of a better life. These migrants are bound for Europe. And this is where the long road begins, in the desert of Niger, several days' drive from the Libyan border. They've come from all over West and Central Africa. Off they go in the dead of night, adrift in an ocean of sand, clinging to their dreams. Some of them may not survive the extreme heat when the sun comes up. Others may be left behind by their smugglers, but there will be no rescue mission. A rare stop on this perilous journey. Most of the migrants here have left countries with few jobs and limited prospects. This is their alternative. Young men, but also teenage girls and children. Samuel has fled from Boko Haram Islamist militants. No problem, I have to take the risk. You, you know, when you want to achieve something, you have to risk. Yes, that's why I prefer to go to Europe. Even to risk your life? It's God who has the last word. I must make it for my family. Migration is big business in the Sahara. There will be officials and soldiers to bribe. There will be militia to pay. For the smugglers, nothing's more lucrative. We charge different prices depending on where they come from, he says. But on average, the ride to the Libyan border costs them about 150 pounds. We've only been here for a couple of hours and we've seen dozens of these pickup trucks, hundreds of migrants, and there will be hundreds more tonight. Now, borders are being tightened in Europe, but how do you stop this? Just a few miles down the road, more migrants are preparing to set off. But they will not all make it. These migrants have turned around, defeated and destitute. They were starved or beaten during their journey. All are going home. They have failed. 28-year-old James Gay from Liberia wanted to study computing in Italy. He took great risks to reach the Libyan coast. But the state of the boats used to cross the Mediterranean terrified him. Afraid, very, very much afraid to get on the boat because people tell you this is good, the boat is good. You go there, you made a Europe within three hours' time. They, they are all liars. The chance to succeed is 20%. The chance to be killed is 80%. And the chance to turn around is 100%. But for each migrant giving up on Europe and returning home, another pickup truck loaded with dozens more is already speeding through the desert. And the exodus continues. Thomas Fessy, BBC News, Agadez, Niger.